Thought I'd do a truck tour. So this is a uh, 2019 F350 with a Redding eight foot utility bed. And it's got the, uh, the extended cab. Uh, I've got aluminum toolboxes on top. So got a little makeshift plywood shelf in there. It separates my all my DeWalt cordless tools. I got a grinder, sawzall, the multi tool, jigsaw, um, portable bandsaw, radio. Got a fan. And I got a couple different cases here. This is my combustion analyzer. I got a bin there. It's just all sawzall blades. And then behind that is a another kit for uh, it's like a solder kit, flux and fitting brushes, that kind of thing. Here is a uh, socket set. There's a big LED light back there, and a uh, flare flare wedge tool. This bin here, this horizontal bin. It's one big door. This has all the little miscellaneous tools. Allen wrenches, um, different hole saw kits, uh, fan blade puller. There's a um, little mini cordless uh, sawzall, cordless tubing cutter, drill bits, a tubing bender, a big tubing cutter, micrometer, pipe wrap, all kinds of there's some duct tools and some clamps. A bunch of different sockets and ratchets. This is some of the bigger stuff. There's a bin here. It's just got uh, a you know, step bit and different drill bits. Grinder wheels. A string line. And then this is some safety gear like the, uh, you know, the high-vis vest. Got some rubber gloves for working on line voltage, earplugs, dust masks. This bin here, got my knee pad, it sits in a little kind of a rack thing. Got some zip ties, got a spotlight, there's a drill behind there, there's a, I made a little uh, shelf in there to hold the batteries, they're not all in there right now. Um, a little flashlight hanging on the on my little shelf. Impact driver. I got a bag here with different garden hose adapters, fittings, washers, that kind of thing. I did a video on this bag here, this video bag. And then the bin down below it has a all my heavier tools, wrenches, hammer. This is a, a roll with um, wrenches, open end wrenches. A couple little pieces of two by four in there, just to have a two foot level up in there. This is a uh, my AC kit. I got the field pre field piece uh, temperature probes in there. I'll have to do a little video on that. This is my service bag. I've done a video on that. This is a rigid camera, inspection camera. Got a Hildy hammer drill. And then behind that is a rigid pro press and a uh, leak detector, electronic leak detector uh, back rack. And then this bin here, fire extinguisher. Uh, my silicone gun goes right there. I got a battery wired into a switch here. That turns on the light in the back of the truck. I wired that in. Um, got my big field piece gauges here, which I hardly ever use because I always use the, the probes. Acetylene, spare acetylene, nitrogen, and then some spare hoses. And that's it for this side. 
All right, so this side is mostly parts. So I've got a set of these drawers from uh, American Van. And then on top of them, I just have some other cases. But they're, it kind of works. Some of them interfere with the hinges here, but and nuts and washers, um, screws, and uh, plastic wall anchors, nuts and wire nuts, electrical, um, sheet metal screws, there's stake on crimp on connectors, and down there I have rope for rooftop work, some ratchet straps, jumper cables, some bungee cords, there's a uh, tow chain down there, and then these are all not used as often, you know, one hole clamps and machine screws, hose clamps, stuff like that, oh, and there's a, <clears throat> these are all fuses up on the top there, this bin here is all different uh, caulking and pipe dope, sand cloth, foil tape, there's some 45, some strapping, uh, some fitting brushes and some pookie brushes, we got a, a single caps there, wire ties, some leak seal, got some Teflon, and the CO2 cylinders for the for the blow gun, pipe dope anti-seas, there's some rags up in here, got the uh, PVC glue and primer, spray foam, big blue, got the Viper uh, coil pan spray, There's some contact or cleaner back there, WD-40. This bin here, I've got drop cloths and plastic rolls. These are um, O-ring kits, trash bags, I got a disconnect in there. There's a number 79 steam vent, dustpan and brush, rubber gloves. Got a couple of little smaller rolls of 10-2 and 12-2, just for making smaller repairs. Um, I got a whip, some thermostat wire, and then I got uh, some rescue motors, condensate pump. Um, there's a boiler aquastat back there. There's a Taco pump. This is a Taco uh, flow switch. Do a lot of domestic, commercial domestic hot water repairs. Um, up here I had these boxes made that fit in here and I've got a piece of angle to hold them in place so they can't slide and interfere with these latches. Um, but they just lift out, maybe. Just lift out and just sit them down here. And I can go through them as needed. But there's uh, thermostats, pressure switches, humidifier parts. That one here has uh, kind of all the pilot stuff, pilot tubing, thermocouples. There's some miscellaneous boiler repair parts, water heater parts. Those are all my igniters. Those are all my capacitors. That's probably the most used bin. And then that's got relays, contactors, and transformers. Um, it's been here. Got some PVC fittings. Got some three quarter and half inch uh, nipples and uh, black fittings. These are different valves, boiler drains, things like that. And then these are all just kind of hardware, you know, one hole straps. Um, different uh, you know Sammy screws stuff like that there's half inch pro press fittings there's three quarter pro press fittings there's uh, pex fittings down here and brass fittings I got 
batteries, some more thermocouples, just some random uh, straps, uh, you know, teardrop hangers, and then there's a couple little things of electrical boxes and switches, stuff like that. So I don't do installations. I only, mostly only do repair work, so I don't keep a big stock of materials that I would need, you know, day in and day out to do a an install. Um, so this is the back. I've got some lights up there, low LED lights, and then I got one big light here. So when you turn this switch on. turns on it's good for at night um, so I have a made a drawer here it's a piece of half inch plywood made out of six by sixes draw the hole here and here and just put these bolts on there and there's one set of wheels in there about two-thirds of the way in so the thing doesn't want to teeter-totter, but when you when you grab the handle here um, and lift, it pulls right out, slides in and out real nice. And then just a rubber mat here on this side. It's a recovery machine. And there's all my garden hoses, a little two foot step ladder. And then there's a six foot step ladder strapped up underneath there. And my refrigerants. Uh, back there is my vacuum pump and a, um, a water pump, you know, for draining down boilers or filling boilers with glycol. Digital scale. And then I got some coil cleaner, hoses, that kind of thing. Got a broom. And I got that little tray there that's got some little pieces of pipe and four foot level, unistrut, stuff like that. Um, that's really it. It's pretty basic. Um, oh, and then I got a bin up there with a couple of humidifier pads and uh, different filters. That keeps them dry. This doesn't, uh, there's a tonneau cover on the top of this, so it doesn't stay 100% dry. I mean, it, you get a little bit of water, it runs down on the floor, but it doesn't rain in here, so it works out real well. And, uh, that's it.